This is the fourth video on Mussolini and Fascist Italy and their expansion, uh, the causes of their expansion in the 1930s. This particular video will focus on Fascist Italy, what domestic policy was like under Mussolini. So at first, Mussolini made an effort to present the fascists as working within the liberal government that had been set up in the 1800s. Only four fascists were on his original cabinet of 12, and he attempted to reform things within the system. He pledged support for the League of Nations in the 1920s, and was hailed by the world as saving Italy from total chaos. Winston Churchill of England was impressed by him, and some say secretly wished to become the English Mussolini. There were songs sung in the West about how great a leader Mussolini was, and he was seen as possibly bringing Italy into Europe as a major force. Mussolini was a showman. He liked to boast about his physical abilities and exercise regiment. He used the balcony as his stage, spoke in short, strident sentences, making chopping gestures with his hands. In July of 1923, the Acerbo Law stated that whoever won the largest share of votes for Parliament automatically received two-thirds of the seats, with the remaining one-third reserved for other parties. This was done to strengthen the government and do away with weak coalition governments that had plagued Italy in the past. It had the effect of leading to a permanent fascist majority after the April 1924 elections when the fascists went from having 7% of Parliament to 66% of Parliament. The real turning point for Italy was in May of 1924, the next month, when a socialist leader who had demanded Parliament annul elections because of violence and fraud was kidnapped 11 days after this speech and found murdered. Mussolini denied any involvement. When the remaining Parliament walked out in protest, Mussolini declared that the Parliament was dissolved and in January of 1925 he began ruling without the Parliament. Most Italians did not object. Laws passed in 1925 and 1926 forbid political parties other than the fascist and ended free press, public safety laws, and suspended civil liberties. Mussolini was now sole dictator in Italy. He took the title Il Duce, Latin for the leader. Under Mussolini, Italians were expected to conform to fascist standards and there was no direct opposition, backed up by a secret police force and militia. A cult of personality developed around Mussolini. In domestic policy, Mussolini took on elements of social Darwinism in arguing the survival of the fittest. The government began emphasizing masculinity and chauvinism. He instituted compulsory physical fitness programs and had military training for children. There was a tax on bachelors to encourage marriage and breeding. Mussolini even proposed reforesting the Apennine Mountains to create a harsher climate to harden the Italians into tougher people. Outsiders were marginalized. Anyone who was an alcoholic or had engaged in criminal behavior like prostitution was seen as uh, not a degenerate and not part of Italian society. Mussolini also worked out deals with the Catholic Church, setting up Vatican City and declaring Roman Catholicism the official religion of Italy. In return, the Church accepted Italy uh, as Mussolini's and recognized his power. Mussolini himself had actually written as a student an essay about there being no God and was probably fairly uh, non-religious. For years, the Church had been at odds with the Italian government, and so this was sort of put to rest when Mussolini signed this agreement with the Pope. One last note, this really has no bearing on anything else, but I think it's funny. Fascist Italy also had some curiosities, like this device, known as the Iron Dobbin. This was the product of an Italian inventor, inventor which first appeared in the April 1933 issue of Popular Science as, quote, a mechanical horse that trots and gallops on steel-piped legs under the impulse of a gasoline engine. With this horse, it was supposed that children could be trained to ride. Uh, it could go across a rough field with equal ease and might be used in battle one day. Um, they quickly realized it was fairly impractical and it never actually went into production, but I just think it's really weird looking. 
Um, along with this control at home, Mussolini then began to look to spread fascism's influence abroad.